everybody, this is the Carbine Cowboy coming to you from a slightly rainy afternoon here in Montana. We wanted to do a video real quick, we weren't anticipating the rain, so please bear with us. We're doing a video today on some of the bullets that we use from everything from varmint hunting to big game hunting. So we're going to give you our take on what we think are some of the best bullets for various different applications. The first one I want to point out to you that I use quite a bit for varmint hunting here in Montana, and whether it be my AR-15 or my 22 250 would be the 40 grain VMAX. These little bullets uh, explode on impact when they hit a target. There is no penetration. As soon as they make contact, the polymer tip causes the bullet to explode. These are only recommended for varmint shooting and target shooting. They are not recommended for any type of coyote, predator, or big game hunter. The second one that I use right here is the 53 grain barge triple shot. I've used this one quite a bit in my 22 250 and I've taken, oh, I don't know, a little over a dozen deer and antelope with it. It penetrates completely, mushrooms as it's supposed to, and I have never had to shoot an animal more than once with it. It does a phenomenal job. What bullets do you have that you use in some of your calibers that you'd like to tell them about? So, G, uh, Hornady came out with a new, newer, solid copper design, kind of like the Barnes bullets, but they came out with the Hornady GMX. Now this right here is a 120 grain bullet out of, from Hornady with their GMX, and that right pictured and shown below is going to be a 6.5 Creedmoor that I shoot in. I haven't had great accuracy with it, not saying it can't be, so I have yet to use it on a deer sized game to see what it actually does and see how it mushrooms. Now, the partition bullets over here next to them, this one's out of a 257 Weatherby, the 25 caliber, and these are a 115 grain partition, and partition weren't really known for the accuracy out of their rifles but they are a hard hitting bullet and that's what they're known for and they have really really deep penetration and decent weight retention as well and this one shown right next to that is going to be a partition in the 338 caliber and the one next to it is going to be a Nosler Acubon, which is also really known from Nosler. This one as well is a 6.5 Creedmoor, and it's a 130 grain Acubon, and it is very accurate bullet. I would actually probably take that over the partition in the 6.5 Creedmoor. What would you think about these Nosler ballistics and tips? Okay, now, use more? I use the 25 on 6 quite a bit for deer hunting. Now, there's a lot of hype on the internet. I load a 115 grain nozzle ballistic tip and a 25 on 6. Now, Combined Technology, which was a joint venture between Nozzle and Winchester, the, the nozzle ballistic tip and the Combined Technology are basically the same bullet. The only difference is, is the ballistic tip is a straight copper bullet the polymer tip, where the combined technology bullet is the same book tail jacketed bullet, but yet it has the black, uh, not if I pronounce this correctly, Lullabuck's coating on the bullet to reduce barrel friction. Now this I will tell you, these are highly accurate projectiles in this particular rifle. I can stagger the 115 grain ballistic tip or the combined technology in the 25 on 6 and I will get one hole at 100 yards with five shots. Now I have killed a deer with those and I don't understand what all the hype is about them. The bullets penetrated, went clean through, they made decent entrance and exit holes, wasn't nothing overly brutal. I guess it would all boil down to personal preference but I will tell you this, uh, I prefer them when I'm doing a lot of long range shooting on deer and antelope just for the fact that they are a hyper accurate bullet and they don't do a lot of unnecessary meat damage to edible game. Uh, I'm not afraid to use them. I've been using them for years 
I actually highly recommend them. They're not an overly expensive bullet, but they do do an outstanding job. What are some of the other ones you've got over here? So this one is actually going to be a Burger Hunting VLD bullet, pictured as the 6.5 Creamer once again, because it's one of my favorite calibers. And it is a very accurate bullet. And I'm probably hitting quarter inch groups at 100 yards. I actually got to use these bullets and see how they actually penetrate. And these bullets aren't supposed to go completely through the animal, which sometimes they do, but they're supposed to penetrate about three to five inches and then kind of explode inside the animal. So they say it's called sty no, hydrostatic shock and it's supposed to drop the game or not let them go far. But as I can see, it does its job. I shot my biggest mule deer buck with it at about 80 yards and dropped it right in its tracks. And the other one next to it is going to be a 7mm Remington Magnum. And this is the regular original Barnes TSX bullet. And that's a 160 grain bullet. And we have used these forever. Me, my dad, my grandpa, and all of this. And animals have never gotten away, never gone too far. The one thing about those bullets without the tips shown next to them is they don't expand as quickly. So out at further distances, it's probably a little better. But if you don't hit bone or something that'll cause that bullet to expand, it won't expand all the way. But if you do hit bone and you do hit where you're supposed to, it will expand and do its job. And the one next to it is a 25 caliber and 115 grain tipped triple shock. And I shot my antelope this year at 477 yards with it. And it did tremendous. Small entrance hole and a small exit hole and it dropped the animal dead in its tracks. Not too much damage caused. And me personally, the tip do a little bit better accuracy wise than I have known. And they do its job as well. I prefer the tipped ones just because for me, they shoot more accurate. But he has shot the regular TSX his whole entire life, and they work just fine. So, I guess what we're trying to get at to all of you guys out there, you have a plethora of bullets to choose from on the open market today. Everything from specialty bullets, Mosler Petitions, GMXs, Barnes Triple Shocks, Burgers, Swifts, Mosler, yeah, the list goes on and on. But we've kind of nailed our selection down to these. They work for us. I'm not saying that they may work for everybody in every application. But these are just a few of the bullets we use. But I will tell you this, and I will say this in all honesty. For normal hunting applications, I've never been done wrong with the Nosler Ballistic Tip, Spear Hot Core, your Hornady interlocks. I have killed more deer and elk than I can possibly count with standard lead and copper bullets. But this I will say, in Montana, where you can hunt everything from antelope to moose at the same time, I try to go with a little tougher bullet because I never know what I'm really liable to run across uh, at any given particular time. So I try to go to a little tougher bullet Unless I'm in an area where I know I will not run across, you know, everything under the sun. Uh, for deer, antelope, I mostly use just a standard cup and pour bullet. And I think I'm going to get around something that's a little tougher. Then I will either go to the orange triple shock or the nozzle petition. Uh, with the exception of the 22 calibers. If I'm hunting with the 22-250 or my AR-15 for antelope and deer, I will shoot the Barnes triple shot. And the reason why I do that is because it's 22 caliber. I want a heavier bullet. I want a harder bullet to get in and get the job done. And they will do just that. Just because they're a 22 caliber bullet, don't let everything you read deceive you. They will kill deer, and I have done it, and it kills them with one shot. So. If you had to pick one bullet, what would you choose for an all-around application? Since, like you mentioned, since we live here in Montana where you run across grizzlies and if one was to attack you, we do have black bears, we do have moose, we do have elk, 
Me personally, I like the Barnes bullets. They're a one solid piece design and they mushroom just like they're supposed to. And they have a really deep penetration with about 95 to 90 percent weight retention, which is very well out to long ranges. They're not the best ballistic coefficient bullet out there, which for long range hunters, they would prefer. But to me, I try to get as close as possible before I take the shot. But like I said, since you can shoot moose and you do run across bear and all that kind of stuff, I like the one solid copper design by Barnes. What would you prefer? If I had to pick one bullet out of all the bullets in the 30 plus years I've been shooting, it would be pretty tough, but I would have to say I prefer the Barnes triple shot. They're highly accurate. The price isn't quite so steep as some of the other bullets. The experience I've had with them is I get pretty decent accuracy. And for what they are, they do fairly well. But as I also stated, as a close runner-up for just general hunting application, it's hard to beat the Nosler uh, cup and core or the Hornady cup and core bullets. Uh, I'm a little more old school compared to the boy here. In my day, we didn't have all the specialty bullets with the exception of the Nosler Petition. So I guess I'm kind of a little dated. <laughs> but other than that, there you have our take on what we use. You can uh, take it for what it's worth. Um, a lot of people, when it comes to bullets, I will say they're a little prejudicial. They know what they like, they shoot what they like. But here you have ours and what we use. So from a wet and uh, pretty soggy Montana afternoon, I'm the carbine cowboy. This is Montana Mountain Man. We say enjoy the day, good shooting, and we'll see you next time. I'm getting wet. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm not sure. Still recording?